Hey y'all, what's up? I'm your Dose Computer Entertainment here. So today, as promised, we will be doing a how-to video. So we're going to do how to install Windows Vista in VirtualBox. So let me turn on this computer. And in the meantime, in VirtualBox, if you have some kind of invalid settings or something like that, system accelerations kind of page, then you might want to check your BIOS settings. So I have my own computer right here. So what you have to do for all those HP users, press the escape key and then press F10. So as you can see here, I have my system thingy. So you have to go to system configuration and virtualization technology. So as you can see here, mine is enabled. So, so press enter and you can do disabled or enabled. So, and then you can exit saving changes. Yes. And there we go. So our computer has booted up. Yes, this is Windows 8.1. All right, so here we go. It's loading. And there we go. So we, so on this computer, we have Windows 8.1. I'll put the link in the description. Wow. Well, sorry about that. Well, anyway, go into Oracle VM VirtualBox. I'll put the link in the description um, uh, below if you want to download. So as you can see here, I have nothing here. So what you have to do is click new and then name it Windows Vista. And kids, if you're wanting to do this, please ask a parent for help. Or otherwise you might ruin their computer and they might slap you very hard. So let's do Windows Vista 32-bit next. And then over here, you have to do 4096. That's what all YouTubers keep it. So the recommended size of this of the hard disk is 25 GB. So create a virtual hard disk now, create a VDI, virtual box disk image. Yes, next. Dy dynamically allocated, yes, next. And then create. Anyway, so now we have a uh, Windows Vista Anyway, so we have the Windows Vista uh, virtual box. So if you can go to settings, double click, you'll see that I have no invalid settings, all the system acceleration, it's all done. So you, so you can see this, right? This means that there is no disk image file. There's no ISO file. So what am I going to do is minimize this, go into Google Chrome, and then download the ISO file. All right, so as you can see right here, I'm downloading the Windows Vista um, ISO file. So it is usually around let's say 2.5 GB so I'll tell you when something happens in 42 minutes so any gossip you guys like to talk about okay so once the ISO file is done you can minimize or close the Google Chrome and then go back to your virtual box so you click on settings and then go to storage, click
click on the empty box see this little thing here click on that and then choose choose a disk file and then you can go to downloads and then get this ios file i mean iso file and then another thing you want to do is go to system and then get the optical up and then press ok and then you can start so it's gonna ask you again which file do you want to use so just click on the 32-bit software windows vista home premium And as you can see here, Windows is loading files. And there we go. So Windows Vista, English, English, United States, US. That's where I live in. That's how I talk. And next, install now. Please wait. Okay, so now it's gonna ask for this product key so let me and so i'm going to put the product key here in three two one all right there's the product key so let's I'll click next i'll put the product key down in the description below i mean you can technically skip the product key but it's dangerous because you know you might have to you know, reinstall Windows for some reason. So I accept the license terms. You can go down, read all of this stuff. Click next. So as you can see here, the upgrade button is disabled. So you wanna go to custom. So disk zero on un uncalculated space. So, so this is how much GB the virtual box is asking us to use. So click here on the hard drive that you wanna use, click next. And now it's going to copy Windows files. It's gonna expand the files, install the features, install the updates, and then they'll complete the ins installation. So I'll see so I'll see you guys later when something happens. All right. So for an example, Windows needs to restart if you want to continue. And uh for an example, maybe it doesn't save. So here's how you do it. Press start. Well, I actually saved this so I have to press start again. All right, so it's restarting in five, four, three, two, one. All right, so it says press any key to boot from CD or, or I'm a DVD. Do not press anything, like literally, do not press anything. Or else if you click like the space bar, then you'll have to restart everything. So do not press a single thing. Please wait a moment while Windows progress prepares to start for the first time. Windows Vista. So it's completing the installation still. All right, so it's restarting again. Do not press anything or else you have to restart everything. So just don't press anything. Let the virtual machine do the job. All right, so when you restart it, uh, you have to set up your profile or something like that. So let me do my doggy. Type a username, for an example, John. Since I'm using this in a virtual box, I'm not, well, I'm not gonna call it virtual box. I'm just gonna call it admin, type a password. Retype your password. Type a password hint. So it'll ask you to name your PC after this. So let's just do it. Moment, oh, sorry. 
Bayer computer. All right, that's a pretty good thing. Choose a desktop background. So let's choose this, it looks beautiful. Use recommended settings, install important updates only, or ask me later. Since we're doing this in a virtual box, you can do ask me later. It already has all the time set up for you, so click next. So choose home, work, or public location. Since this is in virtual box, do home. Thank you. And you can start it up. Please wait while Windows checks your computer's performance. Alright, yeah, the audio is a little bit laggy, but that's fine. And there we go. And that's how you install Windows Vista. So as you can see here, here's the Welcome Center. Windows Vista Ultimate, Intel Core i5, uh, 2.00 gigahertz. Uh, 3.50 GB RAM, standard VGA graphics adapter, computer name, spare computer. So we can just close that. And let's say if you want to rest, if you want to restart or something, or maybe just shut it down. And you can just shut it down. And there we go. It's always a good idea to restart or maybe uh, restart your computer if you're using the operating system for the first time. Okay, uh, the audio was a little bit laggy, but that's fine though. So I restarted my computer. When once you have restarted your computer, you can you can just shut it down. And that, my friends, is how you inst uh, is a uh, how to install. Windows Vista. Thank you very much and have a nice day.